In this video, I'm going to reveal a simple five-step process that you could implement today to make 3K per month or more with your school community and the cooking niche. Now, once you realize that this is something that anybody can do, you will be opened up to a whole new world of opportunities. It is something literally anybody can do. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a genius. You just have to implement these five steps that I'm going to reveal to you today. Now, if you want to get started with school and you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click the first link in the description. It is an affiliate link. It will lead to my um, a 14-day free trial to school. And as an added bonus, I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you build out your school community. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at step one of five the first thing that you want to do is pick a sub niche of the cooking genre okay cooking is a huge industry it covers a variety of topics and so what I'm going to encourage you to do is to pick a niche and niche down for example under healthy cooking we've got keto paleo and vegan under ethnic cuisines Italian Mexican cooking techniques baking air frying grilling as you can see there there are so many different sub niches now, what the reason why you want to niche down is because you want to talk to a very specific group of people. People that are interested in keto cooking might not also be interested in air frying or grilling. They're going to be, want to learn everything they can when it comes to keto cooking. And essentially the same goes for all of them. Now, of course, you can have a keto dessert. But if you focus on desserts, uh, most of your desserts are not going to be keto or paleo or vegan based. So understand that, that when people come to the internet, they want to solve one problem at a time. And oftentimes they want to learn how to grill. They might want to learn grilling desserts um, or desserts you can do on the grill. But for the most part, they're going to want to learn everything required about grilling. So pick one niche and niche all the way down. You're still going to be talking to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people interested in that one thing and then as you grow larger over time you can zoom out and niche out and cover maybe two different topics for example you might want to cover uh, desserts and brunch or breakfast and lunch and brunch and and that's okay once you have a sizable following okay what you want to do in the very beginning is niche down talk talk to a very specific group of people and then zoom out as you grow your audience. So that is step one, pick a niche and niche down. Again, remember, people only come to the internet to solve one problem at a time. Step number two is you need to figure out where you're going to get attention, where you're going to get eyeballs, okay? The only way you can make money is by getting attention, getting eyeballs onto your content. And essentially, there's two ways to do it. There's the free way, which is great because you're not going to be spending any money. You're just going to be spending time. Uh, the drawback to free is it can take a little bit longer to build a following. But free works. There are millions of people, maybe not millions, there are tens of thousands of people that have gone the free organic route and have seen lots of success. The other opportunity to that is paid. Now paid obviously is going to cost you a little bit of money up front, but the benefit of using paid is that you're going to start receiving results quicker. Maybe results are going to be people signing up, people that um, learn more, join your mailing list, but free and paid can work. So as you can see here, you've got lots of options when it comes to both free and paid. My two recommendations for you is to create content or go where you like to consume the content. So if you spend a bulk of your time on YouTube, go to YouTube. If you spend a bulk of your time on TikTok, go to TikTok and make sure your target audience is hanging out on TikTok before you just start creating content. If your target audience is 85 year old women, TikTok might not be the best target audience for you. So make sure you do a little bit of research and figure out where your target audience is already hanging out. All right, so once you have decided on the attention portion, now we need to create content. And there are different types of content that you're going to want to create. Uh, for example, if you're in the cooking niche, you're going to want to show results, show people cooking, show the finished product, and show people how to get started step by step. However, what's really interesting is the way that people will discover you. If you are creating content on, let's say, YouTube, YouTube is an older platform, and so people are going to be looking up SEO. For example, they're going to go to the search bar here, and they're going to type in um, how to bake a, let's say, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. But if you look at this, people are asking all sorts of questions. How to bake a chocolate cake, how to bake a chocolate cake for beginners, 
how to bake a chocolate cake in microwave, how to bake a chocolate cake without eggs. This is called search engine. People are going to the search bar and they're looking up um, the problem that they have, okay? That's for older platforms, search engine optimization. Again, you can also show results. This is usually for newer platforms. You wanna show the finished product. Uh, personal branding, you can also talk about your experience and how you went from no knowledge to becoming an expert baker. People love to see that journey. And then of course, education is great on all platforms. The content that you create is going to vary heavily based on where you're creating the content. You don't want to create the wrong type of content because you will not be able to attract your customers. Okay, so make sure you spend time once you decide on your, your platform that you're gonna get attention. Spend time researching how the top creators are doing it in your space. The top bakers, what are they doing? Are they creating content that's search friendly? Are they doing mostly recipes? Are they talking about results? That's gonna be really important to your success. Okay, so make sure that you are spending time on this platform, whether it's free or paid, to figure out what works and then do that, okay? It's really as simple as that. Look and see what's working and then do lots and lots of that uh, repeatedly until it works for you. All right, so after you have decided on the content you're going to create, you need to funnel people in one direction. One of the biggest mistakes new entrepreneurs make is they create great content, but they're not funneling people in a direction and so they don't actually ever make any money and they can't figure out why. And what you would wanna do, I've got a few different options for you when it comes to funneling people, is you can create paid content and send people directly to a paid school community, which actually works out very well. Next, you can create free content and send them to a landing page for email marketing. And you're gonna be doing that by offering a lead magnet, maybe a cooking planner, a holiday cooking planner, um, a recipe book, things that you can give away for free that your target audience is gonna find value in. Or you can create content to a free school community and then upgrade to a paid school community. A lot of people will do this, I've done this. The only drawback if you're going to go this route is it costs $99 per school community. So if you've got a free school community and a paid school community, that's 99 times two. Um, that can be kind of taxing, especially in the very beginning. Next, you can do content to a paid school community uh, or you can do free content to a Facebook group and then upgrade people in the Facebook group to a paid school community. All right, so this is a funnel. You're going to get people to move in one direction and the further along you have people move, the more people are gonna drop off. So that's why it's like a, like a funnel, okay? And then you might be asking yourself, all of this is great information, but how do I actually make money? And I'm gonna answer it how to actually make money. You can offer a monthly membership, a high ticket membership that's like $99 per month or more, or a low ticket membership. Depending on how big the problem you're solving um, will depend on how much you can charge. Okay, so if, you solve, if you're solving a small problem, you will charge a small amount of money. If you are charging, if you're solving a big problem, maybe you are helping people fix their diet uh, their keto diet so that they can lose weight, uh, so that they can get off of diabetes if that's a thing. And if that's the case, you might be able to charge more because you are solving a big problem. You are helping people lose 30, 40, 50 pounds. That's a big problem that you could potentially command more for. Another thing you can do is you can offer a private community. So let's say you sell a digital product or I guess even a physical product and you can bring people into a private community uh, full of buyers. And so the great thing there is you can get feedback as it says there, you can actually upsell them to other products and services that you're offering. Um, it's a great way to have a community of people and use and lean on that community to make even more money. Um, next, you can sell individual courses, which is relatively new. So you, maybe you have a free community, but then inside of that free community, you have all of your courses that you can sell um, and you determine the amount, which is actually really cool. Like I said, that's relatively new. Um, you can also use some of these other opportunities. You can use it to host workshops. Um, you can funnel people into a webinar. So bring people into a free community and then offer a webinar or a workshop. You can use the school community to get course ideas. So you can ask them what are they struggling with. Um, another cool thing that you can use for school is email marketing. So if you don't want to do email marketing or you find it too consuming, 
Um, you can actually send an email out to your target audience every 72 hours, members of your community every 72 hours, and you can get feedback that way and bring them back to the community. Um, you can also use it, as I mentioned, to get feedback and improve your next product and maybe increase the price, or you can use your school community to collect testimonials. One of the best things that you can do for yourself is to have other people tell your potential customers how great you are, okay? It's one thing if you tell people how great you are, it's something completely different if your customers are saying it for you. So um, one of the greatest things that you can do is use it to collect testimonials. Now again, if you are looking to get started with your school community and you don't know where to begin, go ahead and click the two week free trial, click that first link in the description and I'll meet with you one-on-one -on -one to help build out your community. I'll offer you more specific tips, tricks and tactics to help you grow. Uh, be sure to like, comment, follow, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.